Hello everyone. Welcome again to Diecast Calls, your source for interesting discussion about various diecasts from back in the day. Some vintage Matchbox, vintage Hot Wheels, Kenner, Play Art, Ertl, Dinky. This one is a uh, Dodge Challenger that was uh, released somewhere around 1970 <clears throat> by the Lesney Company. Um, you know, otherwise known, <clears throat> excuse me, as Matchbox. And interesting attributes about the model is the canopy. Pretty cool, huh? And then around the same time, that era, uh, the Mattel Company, 1969-1970, released the um, Torero, the Torero, with also a moving part that happened to be the hood. And uh, look at the design characteristics of the two and how they're comparable as far as the, um, the Mattel Redline era Torero and the Matchbox or Lesney manufactured Dodge Challenger. Some people would say that the, um, that the cars were inspired by, well, obviously Dodge, but maybe that's where the Torero came from as far as the design and the influence for the, the sleek structure of the two, right? Sort of a concept car, um, fantasy car. Um, interesting how the different colors are similar, and maybe it was at that point where the two companies were competing. You know, who knows, right? Along with that, and I'll do a little comparison here as we're looking at some of these models today. Mostly, um, this one's going to be, uh, this will be set up as a video about the Matchbox era, uh, super fast and early run thin wheels. This is an Alpha Carabo. Uh, Car Carabo was also made, uh, the model is also made by the Mattel company. Uh, this does not have the moving part. Um, with the Mattel Hot Wheels, this canopy actually lifts up and um, it has the hinges on here. Uh, the actual the doors actually uh, would open up really neat. It's a it's a neat little um, a neat little uh, design that and the colors too. Look at that. You know how the Matchbox had incorporated the yellow, and I had to get a comparison some sometime to show you the difference or the comparison as to the two models. Again, now you think about the competition, so to speak, and what was going on. Uh, during that time frame when die casts were the, oh, the hit, right? Well, let's move on from some of the comparisons and let's talk about some of the cool things that that the Matchbox company uh, came up with. Um, some of the, the uh, construction equipment, you know, some of the details. This is a super fast ear, you can tell by the tires. Neat little extender on the crane. It swivels, right, up and down. Really neat, uh, it only goes so far, it turns the other way, right? But hours and hours of enjoyment, right? Look at how that extends out. What a cool, cool design. This one is the, um, the Matchbox Superfast 1970, six it looks like, crane truck. The crane truck, we'll put the crane truck in the back there. In fact, I'm gonna move this out of the way because we have several cars I want to show you today, especially some of those ones that are the, uh, the, the construction era. Some of those would be, uh, this is the, um, the Lesney Matchbox Series number 10, and this would be the pipe truck. Look at the pipe truck. How many times have you seen this model with the pipes missing, right? Long, long gone. In fact, there's only four pipes here, and I think it came with seven or so. There's a lot of hours of enjoyment there. Yeah, the pipe truck. Let's put the let's put those construction pieces right over here. Put those construction, both the thin wheels, right? Thin wheel era and the super fast. Put those in the back. Along with that, why not? Got a, a neat little the sand. What's this called? The um, the grit spreader. The grit spreader. Remember this one? Had the little plastic piece in the back. See the little, um, it kind of stuck, just a little piece of plastic up there that you could you could pull out. And what that did is it opened up and it released the ability to release a little bit of sand 
or you know small you know little little particles that you could uh, you could um, you know pretend like you were laying down the the foundation for a for a road. So that part closed up. There it is closed. Neat truck, huh? That's cool. That was a lot of fun. Hours and hours of fun there for sure. So what's another one that would be considered a construction? How about this one? The Builders Supply Company. And this one had the uh, removable gates that you could uh, assemble and corral or protect a, a construction area. Those are taped in there so they don't get lost. What do they actually call this one? This one is called the um, the scaffolding truck. Oh yeah, build a scaffold at a construction site, right? So you got the scaffolding, the crane, the pipes are coming in, the uh, the grit spreader. What else would you find at a construction site? Let's think once here. Oh, I know. Where where are you going to go for a lunch break? <laughs> you know the site hut, right? Now the piece of pla uh, piece of tape is on there because the um, the um, <clears throat> the roof. Not only is the is the the, uh, the little hut sometimes missing, but you'll find that uh, the roof sometimes would be missing as well. <clears throat> See how that was kept on. So you know a lot of these toys are you know 50 plus years old, and by the time you see them today, there may be missing parts that you know you're thinking, oh that's a complete set, but then you realize that some of the parts are actually missing. But the site hut, in order to be complete, in order for this casting to be complete, it should come with the actual hut, right? So the hut was something that you would have for a complete set. So the concept cars on the front. What else do we have? Some another truck. Let's just, this one's called the, um, oh, golly here, the tipper container truck. So why not? You got a container. Now this one also, um, not only does it have the tipping mechanism, and this is something really, really neat about the uh, about the design of this uh, this product is that it had a um, the removable top. This top also is sometimes long gone. You know, it's missing. You know, thrown out by mistake. You know, it's easy to lose. But what a cool design! You know, O D A is it D A K D A K. Neat truck, huh? That is cool. I'm gonna put that right back here, next to the site hut. <coughs> we'll put him in the back there. Neat little, neat little assembly there of Lesney, of Lesney products. What else would you find? <coughs> you know the the exploration, the BP. This is the um, uh, Elvis Stallworth. This. Uh, model is known for losing its tires you know the tires would be lost and also the base is um is aluminum not metal and the canopy the canopy would also be missing in action right you long gone lost etc look how they stamped the number seven on there see that that's pretty cool that they would actually take the effort to um you know to keep things in order you know the canopy the number seven canopy goes on the stalwart just a you know, so the factory would remember that. Exploration BP. Neat little truck there. We'll put him in the back as well. Another neat little example of uh, of Mattel, of Leslie Engineering. Now let's see. How do you get to the? Oops. How do you get to the site? <clears throat> well, you get to the site by hopping on the Jeep, the number seventy-two. <laughs> the number seventy-two. Little Jeep will take you to the site. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's make some room for him. So that's how you get to the site. You get on your Jeep, and then also um, in the Safari Land, you would have to use a what they call the field car, number 18, Matchbox Series. This is the super fast model. You can tell by the tires. Canopy is intact. No glass. Spare tire. That spare tire you can't get off. I've tried to do that before. Um, <clears throat> that's a nice little model right there. Interesting, uh, again, to, you know, pretend and play. Um, the hitch is on the back there. So you could, you could hook, um, you know, the various types of trailers and such on there. The boat, as an example, or the caravan. <clears throat> the caravan could be hooked on the back. 
or if you just def you know you're just gonna fun loving family and you're looking for a little trip action why not take your um your fiat 1500 on a little trip um a lot of times this uh, the luggage is missing luggage is gone it's a little plastic piece that was attached that's tough to find uh this particular model with that still intact so that's a cool little car isn't that what a neat little piece of history Notice that the driver's um, side is actually on the right side because this is a European model. What a cool era. What a neat time to be to be a kid, huh? Playing with that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was just so enjoyable. And then the step up from that would be the Safari. This is a Land Rover Safari in the common blue color. It does also come in another color um, as well and also the canopy on this one sometimes is uh, is missing the luggage up on top so it's always good to find these intact so to speak um, cool ro uh, rover there isn't it that is a cool little casting what a neat time number 12 mm -hmm. range rover wow what a nice truck I'm gonna put that in the back right there let's see what would go with that um, how about, how about the number 13? This one brings back a lot of memories for me in particular. One of the first cars I was ever able to uh, to get as a, a little gift, you know, for my mom driving to town. There's only one store that had uh, the Matchbox. It was the Marshall Fields. And, uh, you know, you save up your allowances. And, and at that time, <clears throat> you know, for whatever it was, 50 cents or 75 cents or whatever, that was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. So this car is in particular very, very special to me, this whole model. Now, sometimes you'll see a variation difference. You'll see a green and yellow color variation on this one, on the wrecker. Yeah, neat truck. We're going to put him right on the side there. Now I'm going to show you something that's kind of cool. I picked up a number of these not that long ago, but um, here's a whole complete set. <clears throat> I'll put those on the spinner too. Now, those shouldn't, those shouldn't travel away because the... Um, the rubber, um, the rubber uh, tracks are in place. This is a, uh, uh, let's see what's here. They call this the case, the case tractor. Now the case tractor, uh, also the canopy was removable, sometimes lost. So look at yours. Do you have the canopy? If you do, you are in luck, right? Tough to find them. The other tough thing is that the tracks are still in, in place because they're very brittle over time and you know being dried out etc sometimes you'll you won't find the tracks on there so there's the case the case tractor so what other tractor is available let's see the other one that is um that they made is uh 1975 the big bull the big bull oh yeah no canopy on here that's removable but the tracks again get to be that rubber gets to be brittle over time and uh, maybe lost that's a cool design isn't it on the little tractor and then last but not least here's a classic right here this is the uh, <clears throat> what do they call this one caterpillar d3 bulldozer yeah look at the tracks on there <clears throat> so look at the two different tracks Maybe it was the same track that was used, huh? Just interchangeable? Could be. And But again, it's good to find these intact. Look at the detail of the, the engine, the air, the air intake, the, the various uh, detail on the pipes there, all the detail for the engine. Again, hours and hours of fun and enjoyment. A little hook on the back. Yeah car yeah those are the dozers right there I put those in the in the front so in order to uh, in order to get out in the country sometimes you had to take the Greyhound bus yep you had to get uh, you had to get from here to there look at the detail on there that's cool yep the matchbox series number 66 coach 66 whenever I think of that I think of route 66 you know uh, uh, traversing through the United States from Chicago to Santa Monica California Greyhound bus back in the day. Also, what you would find on the road would be um, this uh, little uh, Volkswagen 1500 saloon. 
This was uh, manufactured since 1968. So again, I would put that uh, this car toe to toe with the Mattel company competition for you know kids uh, and their their playtime. And this one does have the swivel. It's got the swivel on the front there. Neat car. Nice, neat, all the neat design that they did, all the little details that the Matchbox Lesney Company put into these cars. I just find it very fascinating. What an era, huh? What a cool time. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, you're taking the family on a trip. You got to take your, your uh, Mercury <laughs> down the road, and, you know, put the kids in the back, you know. And then this one, the Mercury uh, uh, opens and closes the back gate. We had a car, a station wagon, where it it was uh, it was a Ford, and it uh, the gate went down. And it also opened like a door. It had two different mechanisms that you could do. I think that was a Galaxy. Yeah, this one also has uh, the steering availability on um, its uh, its uh, thin wheel version. This one doesn't. Those are just straight. But <clears throat> what do they actually call this one? The Cougar Villager. Villager. Yeah, super fast. There it is. A couple more. A couple more here. Here's a cool car. I like this one. The ISO uh, Giffro. This one, um, the doors open up. What a cool color, isn't it? That's a neat color. I like the, the white interior. Could be cleaned up a little bit. Steering wheel is pushed to the side a little bit, but a little, you know, a little hitch, hitch on the back. Uh, super fast era. I, I just really dig this design. I dig this casting. I love the color. It comes in a couple of different variations of this color as well. Yep, that's a nice one. I'll put him uh, right in the back where the wrecker is. And then uh, two more. As long as you're talking about big old cars. There's a nice little one right here. The uh, Rolls Royce. Silver Shadow. Uh, the Silver Shadow, this one, the doors do not open up. But the back does right there and then last but not least is the um, this little uh, what do they call this the uh, Gacomer boat or bottle float this one the decal is showing the uh, the cow drink more milk <laughs> nice detail on the front there all the milk bottles in the back that's a cool car isn't it thin wheels Boy, this is early, probably in the early 60s right there. So there you go. I just wanted to uh, go over those cars today for you. And I'm so glad that you were able to join me on this little trip down memory lane of, uh, you know, your <clears throat> super fast era. And before that, the Lesney thin wheel era. And do come back often. I really enjoy sharing these diecast videos with you. And if you want to contact me, if you have a collection for sale, uh, my email is diecastcalls at gmail.com. Until then, I hope everybody's having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye now.